Hey folks, yeah, this is uh, part three, I think. Um, right, well, I'm on this. Uh, I'm on this uh, Glenburn, if I remember rightly, and basically it's reassembling. What I've done, I'll just show you what I've done so far. If I can zoom in, uh, it has been a bit of a problem this one. Um, Right, what I've done, I had a piece of plastic here broken. Um, so what I've done, I've actually, I've actually had to repair that, but which is a shame, really. But that was broken, but that's repaired. Uh, that plastic's repaired. And the uh, this is all serviced. Oops. This is all serviced and ready to go. Don't break it again. Well, I don't think I broke it last time. I think it was already broke. But that's working now. That's how it should be. exactly as it should work that so that's okay so what we want to do next is start to reassemble and I went to bed last night and I wish I hadn't done because I've got to work out how all this goes back together uh, so basically we'll start and remember remember to oops Remember to lubricate this plastic wheel here. If you don't lubricate that plastic wheel, it will seize up. And I'm just going to double check there's no crap in there because you can't get the wheel off. It's a little plastic roller. You can't get the roller off. All you can do really is make sure that you get the crap off it. And that's what I'm doing here, just a little bit still there, there we go. And I'll uh, just dab a little bit of grease. Just a little dab, that's all you need, it'll work its way in. There we go. Sorted. Right. That will work lovely. And that runs. Uh, that runs. So basically, what we need to do next is we need to. mount this because that gear there runs on the outside and I need to remember how all this lot bloody went <laughs> need to remember how it all went because uh, it goes together right, that's the back That's the back there. And this. Do we have a thread somewhere? We do. Need to work out how this all went in. To be perfectly honest, I think that goes in. I don't think you can screw that separately. in through that hole there that goes in through there there we go whoops no it doesn't go 
going like that. I don't want these bits falling out either. Come here. Right, let's work this out. going to take some time to work this out I'm afraid because right, that's your velocity trip there which is pushed by the arm I need to work out the relationship between that goes in that way obviously goes upside down and this pin pivot here has come out that has to be clipped in that sits in there because that sits that way up and that's the bottom. And I wish I had a manual for this deck. I don't have one for it. That roller there sits there. That should have gone. No, it doesn't go that way. It can't. I have to work out how it goes together. Bring the main deck up and have a look at the actual plate. Let's have a look at the actual deck. It takes some working out this because, like I say, it's the first time I've ever done one of these. And when it's your first time, it's always a learning curve. Right, so basically that's your that shit on and off there. Uh, so let's see. Right, this. I don't want these bits falling out. See, I've done. Never mind, let them out for a minute. I can work it out then. Right, so that, just move them bits so they don't get broke. Yeah, so I have to repair them again, do I? So basically, the centre spindle goes in there, that's the spigot goes in there, and that goes like so. And we should have a nut coming through the top. She's right. And that goes there and it's screwed in by two screws on either side here and one through the other side. And that holds all that. So then we have the see that has to go in. There's your toner. There's your uh, there's your. There's your pivot for your reject, your lift, reject lift, arm lift, whatever you want to call it. And that fits in. Like so. I'm just loosely putting this together because I wanted you to see how it was done. Because I don't have a manual for it and it's tricky. in that's your speed 
not sure what do you call it, the lever. Right, so your tone arm goes in through there because your control arm comes through there. And then this slips into there like that. And this slips into there like so. That goes like that. It's got to come back out because there's a, another piece that's going to be going under there. But I'm just working out how it all goes together. Them plastic bits, not worried too much about them at the moment. Uh, this goes in. Shift it out of the way because I know that goes through that there. Which means this I'm pretty sure it goes that way around which it does but this has to go this has to go under that so this is pretty tricky. Let's lift that back out so we know how that goes. We've worked that out. That goes in that way. But this has to screw onto it somewhere. This has to be mounted Shift that out of the way for a minute This has to be mounted To here somewhere There's no threaded holes right, So that fits in there That's your single that's your gear wheel because this has to then go Just take some working out this folks. When you've never done one, I mean the next one of these I'll do. If I ever do one. Then I'll know how it's done next time. But I just need to so that. Turn that round. Right, that can't go through there. There's no way that go through there. Because that moves on there, which means and this is all the right way up. Which means make it look like it goes that way there but it doesn't right. or if I put this on back to front no I've put
put the gear wheel on the right way around. The gear wheel is on the right way around. It is the right way around, just taking me some working out getting it how it's supposed to go. Alright. So I'll let me pause this a minute, folks. I'll come back. It be, could be here all day. Alright, we're back, folks. I know you might have missed a bit of this, but uh, this is a very difficult one. It's the first time I've ever done one of these decks. And I've had to do some of it off camera because I'd be here all day. Let me just show you what I've done. Now right, what I've done. I've put the gear back on here. Basically the way you have to do it. Basically the, the, the way you have to do it. I'll let, try and explain it the best I can. You have to put. This piece in first. In reality, you shouldn't have to take this piece out, but I did because, uh, dare I say it, because it's a strange one. It's the first time I've ever done one. I didn't really understand what I was doing. Anyway, basically you have to move that all the way from me. We'll get to that. Basically, what I did, I removed this and I removed this. But what you have to do, really, you leave that in, remove the nut on the other side of this pivot pin here, Pull the pin out and then this gear wheel will just come off. But I didn't understand that at the time. Because um, it's the first time I've done one of these mechs. So, you know, you have to bear with me on this. There are people who've done them probably, but I'm not one of them. But I'll know for next time. I'm learning. And you get your speed, your record size thing back in its hole there, control back in its hole. You get basically, basically, you put the wire there, I put this on, I put a screw, because there's one I have to get to. Behind, just under this switch here, you have to move the switch to on, put a screw there, and I put a screw here. Just to hold the plate into place. And where I went wrong was I had this, uh, rather this, in the wrong, this, if I can use my other hand, I had this tone arm uh, pivot in the wrong place and it was hanging up on this. And therefore, this couldn't turn a full 360. Now it can. Uh, so basically, you have to put you have to put this in, put this in, making sure that these two uh, plastic components here, these two plastic poles, don't fall out, uh, which is tricky, but it can be done. You just have to do it with the deck on its edge. That's the best way I found it. Um, pop the pivot through. Pop the clip on, and then pop the nut on the other nut and washer on the other side. That was the best way I found to do it. Let's zoom you out a little bit. So this mechanism now turns. Hang on a minute folks, I want to clean my coal on again. There we go. How about that one, eh? Another one for old Donald. Another, do I've just done another Donald. So now when I turn this, if I turn it anti-clockwise, which is, yeah, uh, it's difficult. It would have to go that way, wouldn't it? I would think. I don't want to break anything. That moves all that, that moves all that, and turns that. That's it. And then we're back to the round, and that's the rest position there. 
Then what we do, we put this plastic rod back on here, which is simple. Then we had a washer on there as well, Let's put my glasses on. I lost a circlet but I did find it. So and you have to gonna have to bear with me on this because I can't remember where some of these bits went, so some of it will take some figuring out. And these washers are all the same size and thickness, so that one went on there. Then this clip, these clips are all pretty much the same size, that one doesn't go there, that one does, nope, nope, that's a thicker clip, uh, that one, no, that one, because I remember it had all the crap on it, that one goes on here, The only one that can manipulate it without losing it. That one goes here. Yep. That goes onto there. Let me just clip that on with the pliers before it decides that it wants to fly off and go halfway around the bloody room. Turn this around so it's in a better position for me to get to it. Move that turntable out of the way for a minute. There we go. Put that there and we're back in. Now that's that lever there back in. Like I say this is a learning curve for me because I've never done one of these decks before. It's the first time and I'm, and I'm going without a manual so now, we have to put this bit in. This bit operates the spindle, uh, spindle which goes on here and goes across here, like so. We have a spring there. We have a spring. And now where did that spring go? That spring went through, that went that way around I think. And it went upside down like that. And that spring goes, if I can get it through, goes through that hole there. And that goes onto there. And that goes onto there like that. So that when you operate the mechanism, it pulls that. There you go. Put that back in its rest position. Then we had another washer. And another clip. And that's the smallest out of the clips, which goes here. So this one, obviously, goes here. But I think it has a spring. I think the spring. Hang on. Uh, I'll just work this out. I need to work this out because this is. We have this plastic thing here. So this goes in here. I'm not sure which way this goes. Oh, yes, I am. This goes onto here. And it goes. And on this one, there's a ridge. Like a little ridge on it there. Hope you can see that. Goes that way with the ridge facing the main gear. It goes into there like that. Then this goes 
take that clip off for a second, put that there, this, no that doesn't go there, um, let's work this, this is going to take some working out, this, it's going to take some working out this folks, goes down there, yes, that goes down there, and before we do that, we have to put the, that goes there, that lifts the tone arm up and down, because that, well, it doesn't go that way because it doesn't fit so that must go that way and then this slotted piece goes through that way there and then when you operate it when you operate that let's get this back into its rest position for a second push that down there that goes there and then it lifts that and presses that least that's what it's supposed to do because that lifts up yeah and that pushes that there don't push it very much bring this back down to its rest position that's right there. Now, we haven't got any bits missing because everything I took off went in the turntable, so we need to work out where everything goes. The spring. I suspect went on there. Put it had a washer under it, I think. Or did that go on there? No, that spring went on there. Yeah. And there was no washer on that because I had a clip stuck to it. Which was this clip here. There was no washer on that because it had a clip stuck to it. I just pulled it off. And that went under there. I hope I'm getting this right. That's on there. So now that's right. And now that pushes down on there like it should. See if that lifts up on that. Yeah. Oops. That's rest. That's torn arm up. Yeah, that's right. That's working. Now we had now we've got two clips left and two washers left. Now uh, 
one of them clips. Oh, hang on. One of them clips goes on here. It's the wider out of the two, which is that one. No, that one doesn't go on there, it's just, or might, let's just see, it can be pulled off again if it needs to be, yep, yep, that clip goes on there, and this other clip, Why do I get the feeling that everything's not right here? That's right. That's working right. Why have we got such a high space there? I've not lost anything off it. Everything I took off. Went back on. But there's something not there that it should be. This is back as it should be. Let's just check under it. Not lost anything. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look back at my video, folks. We're going to have to. Let's look back at my video. Right, let's see. Let's put the screws back in. There weren't that many of them. Let's put them back in. Only a couple of screws, all this is a nice, easy one to take apart. And we have the screw goes down here. At least the speed mechanism on this doesn't need any attention. That all works lovely. Now we're a screw short. Where are we? Where we're we not gonna screw. Uh, uh, we've not put a screw back in somewhere because there's a screw here. We haven't put one back in. So where have we not put one in? Have a look on this side of the turntable. Take the turntable back off. I put everything back on while I checked everything was in. Got the screws here. The easiest way, I suppose, is to look down there, innit? And see if you'll see anything where a screw should go. I might have put them all back. That might be a straight screw from somewhere else, but got the screws in here. Got the nut and bolt in there. Well, pivot and put a nut. Um. Uh, where's that screw from? It's from here somewhere, it must be. <laughs> there was one you can't find, didn't they? I hope it didn't come from under there, because I'm not taking that fucking lot back out. I'm just looking for somewhere where there should be a screw and I haven't put one in. But I'm not putting one, I'm not taking all that lot back out if it's under there. It's not. It isn't. So, I had difficulty working out where the spring gear went because I couldn't remember because I took it apart last night and it went here, so just goes to here and just seem to be left with one screw. Looks like one went there, but you know, why would you have two screws there? It looks like one goes there, and it looks like it come out of plastic, so it could go there. There we go. Yeah. 
Right. <laughs> are we ready for this? We're not, are we? We're not ready for this, are we, folks? We're not ready for this. Just took the toenail wires back where they should go so I don't damage them. That tape's dead sticky. I don't know why I took that one out of there, probably because I probably felt I needed to, but so it didn't have to. That's if it even came from there. Right. Let's pull this through. We need this so it misses all the mechanism. There we go. There we go. Should do us. down on the bottom. There we go. Right. I've got a little tub with a few bits in as well. Mm. So that's the O-ring. That's the clip. They're all off the front. Nubs and stuff. Right, the turntable's all going to need a good clean. So I may as well do that now. Mm, this has been a bit of a struggle, this one, folks. It's not been an easy one for me. But, now I know how it's done the next one will so you only have to do one and once you've done one it's like shelling peas once you've done one you can do them all And this was all down to the fact that during its life it was never serviced. But hopefully, whoever has it after me will service it. Now let's pop the turntable. I'm a bit, a bit annoyed and nailed that all up there because working out to get the frigging clip off in the first place. Right. So what we'll do now, we'll put the rubber o-ring back in. And because you need everything in so it will drop records. So everything has to go back. It's all got to come back off again this, but just for now. So we can get... things in and tested and we'll put everything back as it should be because you can't test under conditions there we are put the little clip back on whoops Alan she heard me I think I've shut my front door to be honest I'll tell you what putting this fucking clip back on could be the hardest part of it that is not easy It's a shame we're going to take that back off again. Now, put the centre spindle in, and the centre spindle goes the opposite way to what it does on a BSR. It goes that way with this pointing that way. Click that into place, let it run through a cycle so that it will actually clip the spindle into how it should be.
Well, that looks like it's pushing down a bit too far. It's working. I'm, I'm sure there should be some sort of a spring on that, but there wasn't one. There wasn't a spring on that, I'm sure of it. No, there wasn't. Because I pulled the clip straight off, if you remember, and it went flying. Right, well, let's test it. Let's get a couple, let's get a record. We'll start with one. No, I'll tell you what. too low. Let's try again. There we are. Yeah. Make sure the stylus point's gonna make sure it's gonna come off at the right point. Yeah, look at that. Make sure that it stylus point will actually drop onto the first record. We don't want it sitting too proud. Don't want it sitting too high, otherwise it won't work. So we'll just put it onto on. We'll operate the mechanism. And we can set the height then because otherwise if it's too I think it won't set on a record. No, it needs adjusting slightly. Is that on there? Who well and truly. We can even afford to just go a mere a mouse's midge higher. Let's try that. We're on there. Pull out the turntable. I can actually adjust this so it misses the turntable, I think. It's not on the turntable, but it is on the record. Now, if I just come down a mere, a mouse's midge, a hair, there we go. Let's clip the stylus back in. I mean, it doesn't matter about the stylus because it'll be getting a new stylus anyway, so we're not really bothered. See that stylus actually misses, if it does it misses the turntable, it doesn't actually hit it, but let's go down a bit further, you can't have it that low, it might, it might cause drag on the record. Just check. Make sure we're at the right height. We just want to be just clear of this rest here. There we are. Move that to the end.
it will come off a bit sooner because I moved it. Oh, we haven't gone all the way back. Hmm, why have we not gone all the way back? Did that time. Oh, that's I didn't that time. need to do is have this come all the way back there we go yeah. so look under in case there's an adjustment bit of finish play there but See if I can nip this nut up a bit more, see if that's a bit on the slack side. Yeah, the fucking nut's loose. Let's put this socket on it. Turn it down, turn it without a socket. Mm, the fucking nut's loose. Right, I'm back folks, I mean this one's been a bit of a palaver hasn't it, you know we've had a bit, uh, you know we've had a bit of a, been a bit fun this one hasn't it folks, but what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can connect some power to it, and see if we can connect some power to it, and plug it into the mains, Give it 240 volts. Uh, give it 240 volts. I just need to find a power cord. I think there's one up there. Just find a power cord to connect it. And. And. We can. Well, there's a power cord, there's a fuse in it, that's the main thing. Some of my power cords have fucking fuses in the damn things. Have I got a fuse in it? No, is it full? No, I think this one here has. One of them has. Must have. Oh, all tangled up on here. Yeah, that one must have. Yeah, there we go. So, what we'll do, we'll connect. Connect our motor up. Connect our motor up to our power supply. And we're off there. And I'm pretty convinced of the fact that this is working. I'm not going to play a record because I don't want to get fucked on a copyright strike. And I'm not going to connect it to my signal generator because we're only checking mechanism only. This is just... I've got a text. I've got a text. Who's the text from? Someone sent me a message. Hey. Oh, it's from... Uh, it's from Phil who brought the stuff for me to do today. Yeah. yeah, I actually met one of my subscribers and his wife. It was uh, we had a good afternoon's chat and stuff.
No, I've just replied. Um, anyway. We're on 16 now. We want 45. Now let's try this. Get those of the records back. And... How many are you going to take bets on whether it works or not? It's lovely and quiet. But it's dropped into the starting groove. Speed bang on. I'll tell you what folks, that was a real pain, but I've learned a lot from it. It's another one under my belt that I've never done before, and I've managed to get it sorted. All because of overseas gear and a broken piece of plastic. Oh, it didn't drop the next one. Yeah. Right. Let's have a look why. I know one of these records is dodgy, it doesn't drop properly. It's that one. Doesn't drop properly all the time for some daft fucking reason. Don't ask me why. Try the next one. There you are. There we go. And end of record. That record's more. Look at that. That's why it didn't drop. Look at that there. Slightly raised. It's got a bow in that record, I think. Either that or it's the one under it. Yeah, look, it's not as bad now. So let's try it again. Sandwich that. That's the second record. Put that as the second record down. Get them on the spindle, move that across. Well, my plastic weld, my plastic welding worked, didn't it, folks? So you dropped it that time. <laughs> Well, I didn't drop that one that time. Could even be that other one that's dodgy. Let's try again. Dropped it that time. Yeah. And off. There we go. Bear with me. Right. That was just someone on the phone for me. Let's try again. Yeah. 
It could even be that the thing's not even sat level and not in its where it should be and stuff like that. Let's go for four records all in a row. I'll hold it as level as I can. One. Man, it sits pretty level anyway. No, I can do that one. We got something sat underneath that. No, what's that on the motor? I mean, when I tested it without the motor running. It dropped all four, and I've not made any changes. No. There we go. One. I've not made any changes, so it can't be anything wrong. Don't know what it is. Let's have a look under there as it reacts. See if it's. Yeah. It's one of these records that I cause in here. There you are. It's one of these records that I cause in there. Don't know which one. It's one of them. Because it's. Let's try again. Motor's lovely and quiet. Spin down's not bad. Make sure that pit there is down in the middle that could have even been that sticking out. Yep, one. No. Well, it's not that sitting too low or too far, it's coming out all the way, it should. And that's working okay. Let's try it without that record. I don't think it could be that. Just try it with these three. Yeah. Mechanism is lovely and smooth. Yeah. Let's try. I'll try it with a few more records. I've got a pile of them up here. That's not good, that's the CD. I think the arm's a bit too light. Right, let's try it with a few records. Leave them four on. And put these on. Don't know how many it'll take, I'll soon find out. Whoops, that one's dropped down. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. 
two. Three. So many records it dropped because I'm sure it dropped two at once there. And it sounded a bit heavy on one of them. Let's see how many records I've got here. It dropped six. I counted six, but it might have dropped seven. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. It dropped two at once at one point. But there again, the records are all different thicknesses and, you know, make sure that that's exactly right. There we go. I always check, make sure that it's right. There we go. One. Drops some nice old, doesn't it? That works really nice. Two. And there's four left up there. Five. Uh, three. And there's four left on. There's four. Right. Must be five. I've lost fucking count. I can't for oh no. There's three left, that's four. Five. Six. And seven. It will drop that one. Yeah, seven. There we go. Just adjust the weight of the arm a bit. That's a bit too light. Let's move that back slightly. I'll let it play to the end of that and see if it gets to the end of it. We'll move it in a bit. Bit more. That's a success, that folks. There we go. Right, join me when I do uh, the actual tuning cord and the uh, capacitors and stuff on the main unit. Uh, that was. This is mainly focused on the uh, the Glen. What is it? I forgot what fucking make it is. What make is it? Let's just have a look. Glen somewhat. Glen what? Glenborn. That was mainly on the Glen. That that was the final video on the Glenborn turntable. Uh, I don't have to check the other record sizes because I know it will work because we checked it before I plugged it in and we did go through it so 
I'm going to upload all the videos I've made on this deck, even the mistakes, because it is the first time I've ever done one. And um, I'm quite pleased that I've managed to do it. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And, you know, I hope, I hope whoever ends up with it after me looks after it and enjoys it. The idler doesn't need any attention because as you can see, oh, I've turned the plug off. Let's turn the plug back on. Put it back on to the start. There, uh, look at that. Loads of talk in that. Loads. That's 33, that's 70, 45, so that's 78, 45, 78, it's 45, 33, and 16. Loads of torque in that. Operate the mechanism on 33. There we are, plenty. Good enough. go folks that's uh, the end of this uh, video I'll get it uploaded for you now and uh, because I'm gonna leave the pie the rest of the pie for now because um, I need to order a new filter capacitor for it smoothing capacitor and I also want to uh, get stuck into doing uh, the Dan sets and the Philips radio that Phil brought me this morning to do and like I say it was very nice if you're watching this Phil which I know you will be it was very nice to meet you and your wife you lovely really really lovely people and uh, you know it was nice to meet one of my subscribers um and get some get get some work as well lovely uh you know so join me again for when i do uh i'll probably i'll probably i'll probably have tonight off because i'm a bit on the tired side so i'll probably have tonight off and i'll do uh <laughs> I'll do Phil's, I'll start on Phil's work tomorrow with a fresh mind and a fresh body and I can tidy the bench up a bit and um, the first job I'm going to do of Phil's is going to be the RG31 radiogram so I'll look out for that tomorrow, well I'll say look out for it tomorrow, I'll be starting it tomorrow whether I get the video uploaded tomorrow, that's another matter. Uh, and once again, folks, you all take care, take it easy. Uh, have a good day and a better one tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.